I just bought a rental property and they gave me nothing, not even the keys. What is happening YouTube? Thank you for watching Mentorship Monday. My name is Matt. My company is called the DeRosa Group and I have this program called Mentorship Monday where people can email in questions and they email them to help me at DeRosaGroup.com. That is help me at DeRosaGroup.com and I answer them right here on the YouTube page for you and nobody else to learn from. So make sure you do that and I'll uh, get to your question. I have a quick favor. If you guys read my book, raising private capital please do me a favor and go out to amazon and leave it a review i need a lot more reviews on amazon uh so folks get so it'll help get the word out about the book so if you read the book go to amazon it'll take you 30 seconds and write a review for it it would help me out thank you um so today's question comes from me and me is it, this is an interesting situation i have been in this boat before this is not a proud place to be me but it's okay um he says i recently just bought a two-family unit with tenants um, online at a wholesale company. You bought, you bought the property online with a wholesale company. Um, I don't have the keys to the property and no detail about the tenant's, le the tenant's lease or rental. I was wondering if you had had this situation before and how'd you go about it? Well, the only time I've had that happen for me, me is when I bought a property at an auction where the, the person selling the property is like a sh the sheriff or uh, an auction website or something like that where they don't represent that they know anything about the property. You're pretty much just buying whatever you get when you close, okay? Um, but I can tell you in this circumstance, because you bought it from a wholesaling company, you know, shame, friendly, shame, shame, shame on you. Um, you really should have negotiated with the wholesale company that they deliver something to you at closing, leases, whatever, as part of your due diligence package um, when you bought the property. I get a lot of these wholesalers are trying to get heavy with technology and sell properties online and sell properties like they're a commodity and everything like that, but it doesn't take them out of their obligation to deliver to you um, what you need to do to get your hands around the property. So the next time you guys are buying, or if you guys too, uh, that are watching buying a property that's not at an auction where the seller really doesn't have any of the information. You're just getting what you get in an auction. Um, but in a circumstance like this, you're, where you're buying from a wholesale website that they have an owner behind them that they're wholesaling from and everything like that. They have a lot of that data. You're just letting them get off by not giving it to you, okay? Um, so make sure you get things like a copy of the tenant lease, a copy of the keys. I understand sometimes great deals like this, you don't get a chance to walk the property. There's not a whole lot of time to do diligence. I understand all that. But there are certain deliverables you need at closing um, to make sure that you're protected. In your in your situation, knee, if it's local to you, um, then I would put a note on the door and let the tenants know that they've got three days to um, to identify to themselves, give you, sign a new lease, because whatever lease they have, there's no proof that it's even valid. They could have just written it up on the back of a napkin. So I would demand they sign a new lease with you um, unless they have proof of a security deposit. You probably didn't get that either. So post a security deposit and give you copies of their keys. And I wouldn't give them much time on this. Give them like two, maybe three days and let them know, unless you get yourself up current and sign this contract, post a security deposit, unless you can prove that you have one somewhere, um, that you are liable um, and, and you're, you're you're a uh, trespass, not really trespassing, you still have to evict them, um, but you are at risk of losing the, your residence. Tell them that. Uh, you don't use the word trespassing, even though technically they are, because they don't, they're not, they're not supposed to be there, because if they don't have any lease um, with you, then they're not supposed to be in the property. Just, there are a lot of laws that protect people's residence and protect people, where people live, so you got to go about it the right way. And you got to give them the right to get caught up with you. So I'd give them a three-day notice and then um, and then go ahead and file eviction after that. Um, the uh, your attorney can evict not that I've had to do this. Your attorney doesn't have to evict them under their own personal name. It doesn't evict like um, the attorney evicts uh, John Doe. Okay, the, the only eviction notice it'll say John or Jane Doe, um, which is just anyone living in the property. If you live at this residence, you're being evicted. Uh, so you don't have to have even their personal names to, um, to file eviction um, in most states. Talk to a local lawyer, and you should also gear up on this. Get a lawyer lined up that can, that can evict them uh, for John and Jane Doe, and then, um, and then uh, go ahead and post notice on the door if it's local to you. If it's not, you still need to get the lawyer lined up and then just have a property management company. And I really hope that you have a property manager. Have your property manager go by there, knock on the door, and if they're not home, post a notice. Um, so that's what you got to do. And next time you buy a property from somebody that has control like a wholesaler does, make sure you get a copy of a lease, tenant contact information, um, keys, 
Uh, you also didn't, I mentioned this before, but you didn't walk out with the security deposit. So you're now um, probably going to have to, you're, you're obligated to produce that security deposit to the tenant. Um, if they get themselves caught up and um, they have a security deposit posted with the prior owner, then that now becomes your burden to pay that back to them when they move out. Um, I've tried that. Your, your, the security deposit's your problem that they, they, uh, they live in your unit um, and that to get that back to them. So. Uh, anyway, not the best situation for you, but it's okay. You'll get through it. Um, that's what I got for you guys. Uh, help me at DeRosaGroup.com is the is the email address. DeRosaGroup.com is my uh, company, my website. So check us out if you want to hear more about what we have, what we are up to. You can go to DeRosaGroup.com and learn from us. And obviously check out my book, Raising Private Capital, too. That's what I got for you. Have a great and profitable week. Thank you, Nee.